the Veil of the Spine, sandwiched between Torch and Rikus, is Rick Cage, the gate town to Bayator, the pits of desolation and despair. The great pass nearby cuts through the Veil of the Spine, significantly shortening the distance between Rikus and Rick Cage. The, the town is said to be the most blatantly political in the Outlands, with the power of all sorts buying influence, and influence buying a lucrative life. Lord Quentel Paris controls the city, with five senators underneath him who can overturn his vote. This is Senator Lord Dilfar, a member of one of the five senatorial families. Though he appears to be nothing more than a blowhard, Dilfar is said to be one of the most dangerous men in the city. The way I see it, Ribcage is like a great big body. The gate to be, Ator, is the heart of town, uh, what keeps the town functioning. Uh, Lord Perox is the brains behind the whole operation. Uh, my family is the lungs, providing refreshing, necessary air to the body. The other families are the other organs, each providing a valuable service in its own way. But none of them are as valuable as the lungs, heart, and head. The brain can tell the lungs to stop breathing, but that doesn't last for long. Otherwise, the brain doesn't get air, and it withers and dies. The heart doesn't command, but without it, none of the other organs could function. Speaking of the heart, I've heard it said that Rigus is looking to tear the heart out of this body politic. Those scummy military swine want to take over everything. Well, trust me, not going to happen, no siree, no matter what they do. We're well defended, and we've got some allies that can swing any tide of battle our way. I'm talking about the pact we're about to seal with some of the good gate towns. The good gate towns will just be acting in their own interest. Uh, they'll certainly want to resist the expansionism of Rigus, won't they? Thank you.